at the end of our conversation, I'm going to ask that uh, what achievements in your life or what kind of successful achievements in your life have you ever feel some kind of proud? Mm. Generally, have you ever satisfied all of your successful accomplishments in your life? And where else have you set a goal to achieve this year and what is your plans for the future? So, well, uh, I think uh, my family is uh, my pride. So my mother and my father is always there when I need help. So I also have uh, my lovely wife with uh, four children and uh, two daughters and two, children, uh, two sons. So I'm really proud of them. So I should, ha I should say that I don't have a lot of achievements, but I should say that I have a lot of students who achieved a lot. So I can say that their achievements are also my achievement. So the reason why, when you see uh, your students' results, so you become uh, successful, you feel that you are successful. So a lot of my students are now studying uh, at local prestigious local universities, also in foreign universities. Uh, also, they are, some of them are studying overseas. So I should say one of my students uh, who uh, was very brilliant at school, so uh, I just uh, taught him uh, to read English literature. So I have a small uh, private library in my class, which contains a lot of English, uh, English literature. and. Uh, uh, he was Zoyer Sharipov and he was really into reading English literature. And uh, I had more than 100 or 200 books uh, in my library and he read all these books twice, I think, yeah. And as a result, as a result, he ended up writing his own book. So here I have brought uh, his own book, so it means that uh, one of my students wrote a book in English when he was in his 11th grade. So the book is called uh, The Survivor, so the author is uh, Zoya Sharipov. So now he is the student of Webster University. So this is a gift for you, okay? Wow, thank you very much. Yeah. And also one of the students of Angren Specialized School, Mihrangiz Abdwaliva, now uh, is studying in uh, one of the public schools in the U.S. So he became the finalist in FLEX program. So that is student exchange program and he ha has a chance, he had a chance to visit the U.S. and study, spent one year in U.S. public schools. Now she is in Denver, in Colorado State in the U.S. and having he, her education in, in the U.S. And he'll, she will come back here and uh, finish again in our school. Also, uh, some of my students uh, are studying in Korea. So, uh, yeah, his name is Jawahar Nimatulayev. So he's also studying in Inha University in Korea. He's having uh, international education. His, uh, his major was IT, I think, yeah.